Welcome to Tech Mining. This video displays a segment from a traffic enforcement application that uses speed cameras to capture vehicles exceeding the speed limit. The speedometer gauges are a quick and easy way to see how much over the speed limit each vehicle was traveling. The video shows multiple speedometer gauges. Each gauge displays the speed of a vehicle driving on a different road. Additionally, the card's type allow customization of various aspects of the gauge, including color-coded thresholds, to indicate different levels and speed limits. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. This is the table used in the video named EBA Demo Card Vehicle Speed. To create this table, create table code is provided in the video description. These are the columns of the table followed by their respective types. This is the data of the table which displays in cards at runtime interface. To make things easier for developers, the sample data is also provided in the video description. Next, create a cards type page. Select the table EBA Demo Card Vehicle Speed. The grid card's layout automatically adjusts to fit the available space, like a smart organizer. Each card starts with a certain width, but if they don't all fit in one row, it cleverly wraps them to the next row, making sure everything looks its best. Select the column to show in each card by picking from a list, and it will be placed right into that area. Remove the columns from the list, because they will be utilized further. In the file URL section of the page JavaScript, require jet, is included as a prefix. Require jet, known as JavaScript Extension Toolkit, is a special directive that instructs Oracle Apex to automatically load the require JS library, which is a segment loader for JavaScript. It also loads the necessary Oracle Jet framework components and configuration when a JavaScript file is requested. It simplifies the process of integrating Oracle Jet components into Apex applications. The provided code ensures the Oracle Jet Gauge component, OJS, OJ Gauge, is available for use in the JavaScript code when the Apex page loads. It employs require JS to dynamically load the component when needed. Let's break down the code. Require keyword, works as require JS function for loading the segment. OJS, OJ gauge, is an array, specifying the segment to load the gauge component. Function keyword, used as a callback function executed once the segment is loaded. To use the JET components, developers also need to include the appropriate JET CSS files in the file URL section of the page CSS. The provided CSS code major purpose, is to include the Alta themes, core CSS styles, into Oracle Jet components within Apex application. Jet CSS directory, 
is a substitution string in Apex that dynamically resolves to the path where Oracle JET CSS files are located. The Alta OJ, Alta No Tag, Min CSS file, provides the visual styling for the Alta theme. Alta theme, is one of the JET's built-in themes. The CSS rules within the file are applied to JET components on the page, shaping their visual appearance according to the Alta theme. This inline CSS is designed to style a speedometer element, defining its size, margins, and centering it within its container. The gauge will be centrally aligned within its parent container. It will have a 5 pixel margin above and below it, creating space around it. The gauge will also have a fixed height of 120 pixels, and will stretch to occupy the full width of its parent container. Under the cards region, set the source type to SQL query. Replace the existing SQL query, by using the one provided in the video description. This SQL query retrieves information about vehicles, including their current state, license plate, location, vehicle speed, posted speed limit, and the difference between the vehicle speed and the posted speed limit. The final result includes only those records where the vehicle is traveling over the posted speed limit. These type of queries are generally used in a traffic monitoring system, in developed countries, to identify speeding vehicles and potentially trigger alerts or fines. The static ID is a unique identifier assigned to an HTML element within an Apex page. It serves as a reference point for JavaScript code to interact with the element and its contents. In the context of gauges, it designates a container element that houses a gauge component, such as an Oracle JET gauge, or any other custom gauge implementation. Advanced formatting empowers developers to create highly customized and visually appealing page elements within Apex application. It extends beyond basic formatting options to offer greater control over content presentation and behavior. The HTML expression property enables to include HTML markup directly within an attribute. These are applied to various components and items, such as text fields, display-only items, regions, buttons, and more. In the body HTML expression code, the vehicle speed is a placeholder and will be replaced with the actual vehicle speed value when the expression is rendered. MPH, static text indicating the unit of measurement, miles per hour. In posted speed, another placeholder that will be replaced with the posted speed limit value. The HTML expression is constructing a text string indicating the speed of a vehicle in a specific zone. For example, if the vehicle speed is 60, and the posted speed limit is 45, the expression would render as, 65 miles per hour in 55 zone. The badge attribute adds a distinct badge-like element to region. Then it meets specific criteria, helpful to highlight or drawing attention to a particular and important information. In the media section, this code creates an Oracle JET status meter gauge, a circular gauge designed to visualize progress or status within a specified range. ID vehicle speed specifies the unique identifier for the gauge. This is used for referencing or manipulating the gauge in JavaScript or other parts of the application. Angle Extent 250, control the appearance of the gauge by specifying the angle extent. 
In other words, how much of a circle the gauge covers. Start angle 215, is the starting point of the gauge, it is the angle at which the gauge begins. Min 0, and max val, ATTR. Define the minimum and maximum values for the gauge. The maximum value is set dynamically using a substitution string, ampersand max val, ATTR. The actual value will be substituted at runtime. Labeled by read only, specifies the ID of an element that serves as the label for the gauge. In this case, it's using the ID read only. The code also defines three thresholds with corresponding colors for visual indication. Values up to 5, will be yellow. Values between 6 and 19, will be orange. Values above 20, will be red. Value ampersand over speed, ATTR. Sets the current value of the gauge using this substitution string, referencing a data source holding the over speed value. Label text MPH over, will be displayed as the text label below the gauge. Orientation circular, ensures a circular gauge display. Class speedometer, applies a CSS class to the gauge, giving it styling, defined in the inline CSS by the speedometer class. Read only, renders the gauge as read only, preventing user interaction. Save and run the page, to test the segment. The top left side of the card contain the license plate column, its font is displayed in bold, in the gauge title section. Followed by the location in the gauge subtitle section. The top right side of the card holds the state column, displayed as a batch. The left bottom of the card displayed the data, through the HTML expression code which we entered in the body section. The center of the card, holds the Oracle Jet Status Meter Gauge. It is fulfilling each and every condition successfully, linked with the code that we provided in the media section of the card's region. That's all for now. But stay curious, we've got even more exciting content coming soon. Thanks for watching the video.